Hello and welcome to today's product demo for Sangfor Cyber Command. In this video, we will demonstrate how Cyber Command correlates with Sangfor NGAF to respond automatically to threats in the network using SOAR, which stands for Security Orchestration, Automation and Response. First, let's take a look at the topology. As you can see, we usually mirror the traffic of the switch to Cyber Command probes to collect and analyze threat information in the network. Next, let's take a look at the display section. NGAF and Cyber Command must both be configured correctly for them to correlate. Therefore, we will first check the configuration of NGAF. First of all, please make sure that log synchronization to Cyber Command is enabled on the firewall. Test the connectivity to make sure that there is no problem. Then, create an account for Cyber Command on NGAF. This account is used to authorize Cyber Command to call the firewall's API so that Cyber Command can correlate with NGAF to issue SOAR actions. After checking the configuration of NGAF, let's check the configuration of Cyber Command. First, you need to configure the correlation with NGAF on the Cyber Command. Here, add an instance of the firewall application and configure the account and password that we previously created on NGAF. Next, let's configure the SOAR playbook to respond automatically to network threats. Set the trigger of this playbook to the detection of a high-risk security alert and the response strategy to automatic execution. Now, let's go to the first node. Configure the first node to use the firewall's IP blocking function. We can use the variables recommended by the system, such as IP and blocking time. For the response device, select NGAF. The next node modifies the status of the security alert and cyber command. After blocking is complete, we need to modify the status of the security alert to fixed. After checking the configuration, we will now use a real virus to generate APT traffic to correlate NGAF with cyber command. Here, will run the virus directly on the test computer. We can see that after the virus runs, it continuously visits malicious URLs and generates APT traffic. Now that APT traffic has been generated in the network, let's see if NGAF and Cyber Command have correlated to respond automatically to the network threats. Wait a moment on Cyber Command and you'll notice that a security alert has been generated. Next, let's take a look at our SOAR playbook. You can see that the response strategy has been successfully executed. Let's take a closer look at the execution process. You can see here that the two process nodes in the SOAR playbook have been executed. Next, check the execution of the SOAR playbook on the firewall. You can see that Cyber Command has delivered the IP that needs to be blocked to NGAF and the blocking time is as we configured. Finally, let's verify that the compromised PC has been blocked successfully. To do this, we'll try to access the internet on the test PC. Since the IP of the test PC has been blocked by the firewall, you can see that the test PC is unable to access the internet, so malicious traffic can no longer be generated. On Cyber Command, you can see that the security alert has been automatically marked as fixed. So this is an example of how Cyber Command 
correlates with NGAF using a SOAR playbook to automatically respond to security threats in the network. We hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Thank you.